I was born in a little town in North Carolina. My grandparents had nine daughters. I really got a sense of what it was like to be a Southern lady. Education was emphasized from literally the time I could speak or I could walk. The first time I ever went to Paris, I went to Paris in my head because she taught me how to read books about places that I had never been and I didn't know if I was ever gonna get to go. I knew that I wanted to ultimately go to law school, so I was way looking ahead. And I wanted to go to a school that had an emphasis in justice. American University had the School of Justice, and I was methodic about picking the University of Houston the same way. The number one factor was the bar passage rate. And I knew that the University of Houston's Law Center was dedicated to teaching legal practice. The Kings County District Attorney's Office offered me a job in my first semester of my third year. So I knew all I needed to do was graduate from law school and pass that darn exam. And upholding the tradition of the University of Houston's Law Center, I passed on the first try. And I really did move through the office fairly quickly. I was the youngest attorney assigned to the Homicide Division and then was appointed to what is referred to as the trial cadre. Then we handled the high profile cases. My office mate uh, received a phone call that there was a new television network starting called Court TV. And they wanted a prosecutor to come on and just basically do play by play. I remember Suzanne saying, I'm not that vain, ask Star. <laughs> Clearly, I was that vain. After Six months of volunteering for Court TV, somebody at NBC recommended me to Jeff Zucker, who brought me into the Today Show. That was the beginning of my life in television. Whenever I'm asked how I made the transition, I basically answer it the same way. I'm using that same skill set of networking. Networking is what lifted me from law school to the district attorney's office, to Court TV, to NBC, to the view. For the vast majority of my adult life, I was obese. I weighed 300 pounds. And then my doctors and I got together and decided I needed to save my own life. And I decided to take their advice, have weight loss surgery. 14 years later, I've been able to keep off 150 of those pounds. Other than that law degree, that's the greatest achievement of my entire life. Today I spend most of my time on a plane, but there's nothing like my family, Ricardo and Jake. They have given me a new purpose. I get to be a mom for the first time. That's pretty cool. I use my law degree in ways that people might not have originally imagined. I am the president of a publicly traded company on the NASDAQ. As the president of the National Association of Professional Women, I advocate for over 850,000 women with 200 chapters across the country. As the national volunteer for the American Heart Association, I'm the face of the Go Red movement. And I still keep my fingers in television. I've written three best-selling books, and my third book is a book of fiction. It was bought by VH1, and this summer, it's being made into a television program, and I get to executive produce. That law degree that the university provided has really catapulted me to heights that I only dreamed about in my books. I thank the University of Houston for this amazing honor, and my grandmothers, both of them, thank you also. By the same token, I believe very strongly that you must be prepared when opportunity knocks because when preparation meets opportunity, you can accomplish anything. University of Houston prepared me for every opportunity that I've had.